Man, I am haggard today. I'm out here with Asher today, but he's still up in the van sleeping. We trolled stripers all day into the night last night, and then we pulled the boat out, and then we sat on the bank and uh, plunked for stripers all night until about, I don't know, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. We're out here on the Steelhead River now. You know, it's late March, so a lot of the Steelhead Rivers are closing. Um, you know, springers are moving in, the stripers are moving in, the jetties are getting better. Winter Steelhead season is coming to an end, um, so it's kind of bittersweet. It's definitely my favorite season. So we're gonna try to uh, get a couple more out of the river before it closes. Definitely a wet March day. We're gonna try to keep the camera lens as dry as possible, but sometimes this Northwest rain doesn't allow that. Bobber fishing in the rain and having your hands up high, you know, high stick and trying to get the line out of the water. Water just runs right down your sleeve. Like basically you're wet to your elbow all day long. You know guys, I don't think I fully have recovered from that fish I lost here that one day, that big chrome fish. Um, I just feel like I haven't gotten him back yet. Hopefully today is the day, but what a heartbreak. Check that out. With each cast, I grit out the pocket. Sometimes steelhead won't move from their position and wait for food to drip down the line they're holding in. Your job is to find that line. And at that point, the choice is theirs to take it. Check out this nice little buck. He's already spawned out. He's probably heading back down river. You can just tell how kind of skinny he is, little white, white tips on his fins. He's been rubbing on beds. Let's let him go. Well guys, I was just, just talking about getting that redemption. And uh, what a fight. That guy would not let up, but this day is just starting. I know I said earlier that Asher was with me, and he is, but I think he's still sleeping. Like I said, we were up till like four o'clock in the morning, and we fished all day long. Um, so we were super exhausted, but I wake right up when it comes to steelhead fishing. Some runs are designed so perfectly by nature, no fish can resist holding in it, even if only for a minute. Let's talk a little bit more about reading the water. So this hole I'm at right now, I'm gonna to try to explain it to you of why fish sit in there. So right here, we got some rapid rocks, shallow, fast moving current, you know, and it kind of, if you look down river, it's pretty fast and currenty all the way down, you know? And then up here, slow, deep, I can see a big boulder right there. You know, another big one right there. Basically what they'll do is, they don't want to sit in that stuff. In the early season, 
they'll sit in there, you know, being fresh and chrome and just rowdy on life. But in the later season, like now, being March, they'll get up above this and they'll sit in here in the slow stuff so they don't have to fight that current very much. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna fish very high because it does shallow up again, but there's this big deep pocket right in here, just a big bowl, boom. I'm gonna run my bobber through first and then we'll, uh, we'll cap it off with the spinners. But I've caught fish in this hole many a times and obviously as a steelhead angler, when you've caught fish in one spot, you know, you tend to go back there all the time. Um, it's just a perfect holding point for any fish that is already spawned and trying to head back down river and can't fight the current as hard. But uh, also just a good resting point for any fish really. So there could be chrome fish in this pocket. There could be old zombie fish in this pocket. We'll never know until we hook one. So like I said, we're gonna go bobber first. We're gonna go with the old trusty nightmare jig. This is a eighth ounce jig head. Um, this is perfect water for eighth ounce jig head. I like to run 16 ounce, 16th ounce when the water gets lower um, and more clear, they get more skittish. It just flows better with the slower current. You know, this, uh, this eighth ounce is perfect for, you know, a perfectly running river. So I got uh, about three feet, 30 inches or so, 35 inches of uh, 10 pound mono. Then I got my inline, inline weight, two beads to guard that knot. Got my bobber and a bead and the stop. Um, I imagine that this hole is probably 10 feet deep, but I like to run the center of the column because the fish will come up to it. So I'm just gonna kind of keep it where it is and uh, see what happens. Another nice little downriver wild. Kind of a similar replication to the last fish I caught. But uh, we're gonna get him back in so he can go on his way. Later, buddy. That's two casts with the spinner, two fish, different holes, but man, I ran the bobber through there a couple times and one time with the spinner. Ah, it's raining, it's late March, it's a beautiful steelhead day. You guys, I just realized that the last steelhead episode that we, uh, that we dropped on the channel, Asher was sleeping also. He's sleeping right now, I got two fish on the bank. That's what happens when you sleep. People catch fish and you don't. We kinda got a, we got a little streak going on right now. We hit two different holes, we got two fish out of them. Let's see if we can't hit this third hole and get another fish. People always talk about music to their ears. As far as music goes, there is no song like the sound of a flowing river mixed with rain falling all around. A little trout. I mean, does a trout count for three fish in three holes? I don't know. It's nice to just be hooking up. Oh, little guy. Nice little cutthroat. All right guys, I've hit a couple holes. I'm wet. 
I'm hungry, I'm tired. I'm complaining, I'm being a diva. It's time to go home. Asher's still asleep, he never even got out of the van. But we had a long night last night. Um, yeah, there's only a couple more days of uh, winter steelhead on most rivers. So it's gonna kind of be a wrap. We're gonna be hunting summer steelhead later in the season. But uh, I think we're gonna be doing a lot of stripers and jetties and all that good stuff. So don't go anywhere. I hope you love this stuff. If you do, hit that thumbs up. And if you ain't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing, but hit that subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications when we uh, pop out new stuff. Um, anyway. Peace.